Hey there, everybody. This is Ira, and we're back in Heaven's a Sorcery, doing some more magical skyblock. I am all kitted out with all kinds of bling over here. Check me out. Look me over. Um, I have chosen from among all of the various uh, baubles that I have gotten in dungeon runs, and these are the ones that I've settled on. I've got some new. I found out you can put golden apple in these meals, so I've started doing that. Uh, made myself a second sword because I have done so many. <laughs> I have done so many uh, dungeon runs that my sword is almost almost done. Uh, I've got permanent night vision, by the way, thanks to one of those baubles. I've got tons of cows over here uh, because I'm trying to slowly farm up some leather so that I can make an enchanting table, which is properly kitted out. Look at all these apples. I haven't even been noticing. I planted all these seeds for different types of trees that I found in the dungeons. I've done so many dungeon runs, folks. Just, just a truly astonishing number of dungeon runs. <laughs> Uh, since the last video. Also planted these grape seeds, got grapes here, got tomatoes over here. All of these foods can go into these dishes, so that's pretty cool. Um, and the last thing that I was doing on the on, on today's episode, I want to deal with this kind of, uh, one of these. Probably just going to do one of these for one episode, because I have a feeling it's going to take a while. So we're going to do the Mistborn uh, quest, which means making these two portal stones and forming a new portal. Now we've got the other world's cores, got a couple of them from, uh, from the dungeons. We've got the metamorphic tiger stone, the amethyst, I made a glass bottle. The pasture seeds were tripping me up for a while, folks. Actually, let me grab my metamorphic tiger stone before I forget. Just got a couple, couple of those right there. I'll stick the rest of them back in their box. By the way, oh my goodness, this is just the loot that I brought back. <laughs> There was so much more, and by the way, there's there's shulker boxes in there, which is cool. Um, actually, I may I may take one of them with me. Uh, but you can't use them in the dungeon because you can't place blocks. So I also found a beacon, which is, is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really know what to do with it because I don't really have a need for a beacon on here. I don't think. If anyone has any ideas for the best use for that beacon, you let me know. Um, but yes, to get the pasture seed, right? First, I was like, all right, I gotta find it in a dungeon chest. I went through so many dungeons and I did not see a single pasture seed. The other option is a mortar and pestle, uh, which is what I've gone with. So the mortar is easy enough. The pestle tripped me up for a bit because you need diorite and andesite, but it turns out you can actually make uh, diorite out of quartz slivers and cobblestone, and then you can make the andesite out of diorite and cobblestone. So that actually wasn't too bad. I've got a setup now, so I'm gonna put this, this is from Roots, by the way. Somebody, I think somebody asked if Roots mod is, is in this. Uh, yeah, it is. There we go, boom. That's done, that's all set. Let's throw the pestle in here. I got a lot of these other world's cores now. <laughs> Just so many. Also, I got this heart of a diamond from one of those little teleporty dudes, and I'm not sure um, what that's really for. Uh, I guess just for the pickerang, so maybe not very useful after all. Um, all right, so I need two tiger stones, and I've got the rest of the stuff here that I need, and the block of gold. Now, I'm a little bit concerned, because the other world's core in the recipe looks a little bit different. It's got, like, this yellowish glow behind it. Do I need to do something? I don't think so. I think maybe it, maybe that's just kind of stylistic a stylistic decision there. So into my ritual table, let's uh, make each parts of the the, uh, the thing here. Da, 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 da. Taiga, there we go. And pasture seeds is one. Cast that. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I love these animations so much. Awesome. <laughs> Just kind of hanging out there. I really don't understand why... Uh, stuff just kind of hangs out, like, why, why you can't pick stuff up um, if you're not on the same level as it. I don't know what mod is doing that. It drives me nuts, though, because it makes it so hard to pick up certain things. That one fell on the ground. But, like, if I throw this up here... Nope, that's too far. All right, let's, let's try some... <laughs> if I throw this... Where can I throw this? Okay, here we go. If I throw this right here, okay, and I walk up, it will not pick it up. No matter how close I get to it, I have to be on the same level. It's just so strange. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave the, the mortar there. I'm sure I'll need that again in the future. So I've got a signed shulker box, block of gold. Um, lower portal stone has the moss on the top. Okay, so this is the lower one, and this is the upper one. So this is gonna be... Excuse me. What happened to my... 
Oh, it's in my inventory now. Okay, um, let me grab my tools here. I'm not fully ready to go. I do need my tools. Stick these over here. And a block of diamond. Now my armor is not in perfect condition, but I think it'll be fine. Um, pick up a shulker box, which hopefully I will be able to place where we're going. I think I'm gonna just kind of keep all the portals down here by the nether portal. I really should make a nicer area. The problem with, with the portals is once you build the nether portal especially, you can't really move it easily because it messes things up. So, all right, this is gonna be the bottom. Uh, this one right here. And the block of gold. And then, oh, whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness, that scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, um, I am definitely terrified of going into this portal. That is very cool looking. Maybe, maybe I do a little, a little selfie in front. Oh, it's rain. It's raining. Okay, hold on a second. I don't want my selfie to be ruined by by the weather. It is nighttime. Sometimes it's hard to tell with my night vision. There we go. All right. Fix the weather. You cows, just shush, please. All right. Let's. Let's. Uh. There we go. That's a nice selfie right there, huh? Very cool. All right. That's enough. What is the modern world done to us? Let's go. Walking into here, I have no idea what awaits me on the other side. This is the very first time I have ever gone to the misty, misty world? Misty dimension? Mist world? Mist world sounds right. I think that's the one. Uh, and the other one would take me to the ether, aether. Again, not sure which pronunciation is preferred. I'm sure they're both fine. You know what I'm talking about. I know that the, the ether is, um, I think I'm going to go with Aether. It starts with an A. I think the Aether is especially dangerous. I definitely remember seeing people playing it before. Oh, this is very cool. Mistborn! Alright, um, I don't see anything that wants to murder me just yet. Is there... Oh, here we go. We've got useful miscellanea. Builder's best belt. Measuring tape. Okay, I, it's not that important right now. Um, Adept's magics. Metallic transition. By the way, I haven't really done anything else with the magic stuff from before. It looks kind of complicated. I haven't really taken the time for it. I've been just doing dungeon runs. If anyone has any tips on making spells with that, let me know. Okay, the mist is a great risk to one's personal health. Path to making it safer means risking the danger. You're going to need to harvest a material known as niobium, which can be found as an ore around the mist. Fortunately, the mist ebbs and flows with daylight and is at its lowest at night, allowing careful collection of this precious ore. Though that's to speak nothing of the other dangers of this realm. Well, dang, so I need a Niobium ore. Uh, this is just really pretty and cool. And I like it. Um, oh, it's, it's a little bit framey here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a little bit framey. I am gonna throw a waypoint down, because I do not trust myself. Let's make that orange. I don't trust myself to remember where I'm going here. Uh, so there's, there's water. We got tropical grass, coral mushroom. Can I do anything with that? Cooked coral, okay, it's food, that's fine. Ooh. Ooh, I can jump higher here. I like it. Rocks, we got some rocks. What are these used for? Tell me about these rocks. Okay, they're just, they're just rocks. <laughs> Nothing fancy or special about them at all. Uh, okay, good to know. Just rocks. All right, um, oh, there's my reward. Uh, by the way, I want to clarify some things I said in the last episode. I was... His high jumps are, are gonna mess with me. Look at all these mushrooms. Are these all just edible mushrooms? Looks like it. Well, the silver one? Yeah. Okay. Probably not gonna bother too much of those. I got plenty of food. I wonder if I could cook those, though. That would be cool. Um, so in the last one, I said some stuff about the... Dungeons and things like that. Apparently, uh, I've been corrected. I have been corrected by um, by the Phoenix Lodge, who is the creator of this pack. So, whoa! <laughs> this is bananas. Look at all this. It's it's it is really framey in here. I might even reduce my my view distance a little bit. Um. Let's bring that down to like 10 chunks and see if that helps a bit. I don't see any hostiles yet. Maybe they only come out at night. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, regarding the dungeons, first of all, the enemies do not respawn. I was wrong about that. So you can clear a dungeon completely pretty easily uh, and then they, they, won't, they won't respawn. Um, 
So that's one thing. More mushrooms. I love mushrooms in real life. Uh, another thing, the, the gravestones. This is the most important thing. Apparently the fact that I... Ooh, red dot. Oh, it's a creeper. Aw, oh, man, it's just vanilla. Vanilla overworld. I might need to bring some torches in here. My night vision might not be the good, the goodest thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick with that, the goodest thing. Um, uh, I, was, I was respawning every time with an enchanted tombstone key, which is apparently a Halloween thing. So usually there's a small chance that you will get a tombstone key, um, but most of the time you're gonna spawn without an enchanted one, which means you won't be able to teleport right back to your grave. Start digging, I guess. So there's there's a small chance that you will. Look at this cool stuff. Otherwise, oh no. Oh dear. Do I need a special type of, of pick to mine here? Uh, so yeah, so if you respawn without an enchanted one... I have a better idea. Uh, then you... Neobium. So is this just gonna... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. This is, this is worse than Obsidian. This can't be right. This can't be what I'm expected to do. Oh, anyway, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself. Uh, if, if you respawn without an enchanted key, you just craft it with an ender pearl. More rocks. Hmm. Do I need to make a special stone pick? It's just... I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Um, yeah, you just craft it with an ender pearl and you get an enchanted one. <laughs> Sorry. And... Uh, then you can use that to teleport back. And you can get ender pearls in the nether by killing endermen. So that was that. Oh, uh, was there one more thing I wanted to tell you folks? Not sure now. Oh my gosh. Try to make a crafting table here. Oh, that was... okay. Go ahead and make it a crafting station. I like them better. Uh, I think that might be everything. If I think of anything else, I'll let you folks know. Let me see if this works better, yeah? Stone pickaxe. What if I use these? It's exactly the same item. Does this work better? Because if it doesn't, well, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, and I might head back. And yeah, no, this doesn't. This doesn't work. Um. Okay, viewers, I'm throwing this out to you. How do I? How do I? Get get down there to mine. Because I really am not sure. Oh, well, maybe I should go back and start working on the airborne one. Hmm. I don't know, do I need to wander until I find some exposed kind of ore or something? Is that what I'm supposed to be up to here? Let's try that. Let's try wander. Let's just try exploring a bit and see what we find. So we're heading east now, okay. I mean, mostly this all looks the same. But maybe I maybe I need to find a cave. Possibly I need to find a cave. I've not seen a cave yet. This higher jump is actually uh not it's kind of a pain. <laughs> I liked it at first, I was all excited, but now I'm like, well actually it makes it take longer to jump. Everything is just the same here. It's, no, it's not a cave. It's just more dirt. Oh, and it is so framey. I mean, I know it's generating new terrain. I probably shouldn't complain too much. And what's this over here? It is very pretty. I do like the color palette a lot. Red sand. Okay, it's just red sand. It's just regular old red sand for Minecraft. Cool. Oh, framey, framey, framey. Now what's over here? What is this? We got a different biome. Looks like we have a different biome. Cool. So there is some variety here. We've got some some water. That's great. We've got this foggy stone. All right. Here we go. 
Here we go. What's this over here? Is this some, some variety of ore? It is iron ore, look at that! But I can't really... Okay, so I, I really need to find the special, the special ore then, right? Okay, so this world has an edge. That'll be it, right? That'll be, um... This will be where I'm meant to go. Okay, okay. So I understood the signals properly. Some gravel, very pretty gravel. So I guess I need to, I guess I need to wait until night and then go down and get that ore, but that feels very dangerous. That feels very dangerous because if I get knocked off the edge or whatever and die, I can't go back and get my stuff, right? So maybe... Maybe I need to make a chest. Put a little, a little base camp right here. Um, let me just take all that, there we go. Okay, that's enough for a chest. Stick a chest down and like, everything valuable, including most of my food. Don't need the water bucket. Sword's almost broken anyway. Wait for the sun to set. Hope that it's just not too dangerous. I do wish I'd brought some torches. I do wish I'd brought some torches. Uh, and maybe some ladders? Some. It feels like some ladders would be good to have. And probably some cheap blocks. Maybe I'll like uh, dig up, dig up a bunch of. Take my shovel. Actually, dig up a bunch of dirt to use for pillaring. Feels like pillaring is going to be important if I'm going on these cliffs. Because actually, um, ladders aren't really that great. In <laughs> I am a little spoiled when it comes to ladders. I'm spoiled by um, uh, Vintage Story. I haven't been playing Vintage Story, by the way. If any of you watching this are also following my Vintage Story videos, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna play the same world again. The, the next version is being worked on and it looks really cool. I might wait. Uh, like the pre the pre-release versions have already been released. So there should be, I'm hoping, a release candidate eventually. All right, let's... Oh, I see a zombie over there already. Let's throw this in here. And is the mist going down? Can we see any of this ore? I gotta keep an eye on the mini-map. Make sure there's no red dots coming to bot me off the edge, right? Um, I don't see... Ooh, there's an enderman over there. Enderman over there. Oh gosh, there's a lot of mobs. <laughs> Just like, build myself a little, a little safe space. Sort of. I get nervous. You guys have seen me. I get nervous around around the mobs. Uh, oh, the mist is going down. Look at that. You can actually see it going down. Okay, so I'm going to need to go, presumably, down pretty far. I'm just going <laughs> to feel like they're looking at me. Okay, let's start heading down. I have gotten much better at fighting the mobs in the dungeons, by the way. Some of you, I'm sure, will be pleased to hear. Uh, I can now consistently, I would say, uh, clear the dungeons without taking any hits at all. Which is something I'm pretty proud of. It took me a while to get there. What's this over here? See something green? Oh, those are the seeds I just threw. <laughs> just seeds. Um... Didn't bring a shovel with me. Maybe I should have. Oh, there's bones in the in the gravel. I guess I need to go down as far as I can. Still, it's still receding. Fog is still receding. Don't see any ore yet. If I stand there, am I gonna take? Am I gonna take damage? Yes. Looks like this is as low as I can go. Um, I don't see any ore though. This is a concern, since the ore is why I'm here. Uh, got anything here? No. 
not really sure what else to do other than kind of wander through. I don't... I guess I kind of know what it looks like. It's not going to go any lower than this, it seems. Okay. I don't want to use up too much of my dirt and stuff either, though, because I'm going to need to get back up once it starts going back up. Hmm. This feels like this process might take a while, folks. It's gonna probably require a lot of luck. I don't know if I'm going to be required to go down into the mist a little bit. Even looking down there, I don't see anything. not see anything here. I don't know, any of you at home watching this going, oh, it's right there! You walk right past it. don't see anything above me. I'm just shifting to live like crazy right now. I don't see anything. I'm not sure where I need to go. Or if it's just rare. Maybe it's just rare and I just need to keep keep on trucking. Except I am basically out of dirt now. This is an issue. <laughs> this is the problem. I can use the gravel to get myself up afterwards. Um, I am going to need a lot more blocks for exploration, I think. Alright, it seems like maybe this is going to be sort of a... A longer term project. Where's the moon? It's right overhead. We're still in good shape. Um, let's have a snack out here in the mist. It is spooky though. Oh, and that's the only food I have. Like a donkus. I didn't bring any more. Come at it from this angle. I think I will bring my shovel. I have a feeling, I, I'm assuming I'm not gonna find it tonight, right? So, uh, the next night I'll bring my shovel with me. Hmm. No. So, okay. Future plans. Yes? Future plans are, uh, bring the shovel, bring more food, bring a lot of blocks. Just a lot, a lot of blocks, right? Look, there's a comet up there. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, I just suddenly got a super lag spike. Oh, uh, maybe from the comet. Maybe that was a lag comet. Infamous lag comets. Everybody knows those, right? See, I can't pick up the bone unless I'm on the same level. Why is that? What is doing that? I don't like it. I don't like it. Up there. I don't know. Has anyone played with the Misty World before? Can anyone tell me? Um where I need to be looking. So I think what I'm probably going to do is I'll probably finish off uh, this episode already. Maybe a little bit of, on the shorter side, uh, but that's fine, I think. Because uh, I'm not really sure what to do or where to go, and if I'm just going to record myself derping around like this, it's not going to be a very interesting video. So I'll finish this one off a little bit early. If you've played with the Misty World before... Oh, hello! <laughs> Um, let me know where to look, like, uh, am I, am I doing this right? Do I just need to keep at it? Uh, do you have any tips, any other tips for what to do, where to go? Um, this is porous foggy stone. Is this easier to harvest? It is! Oh, okay. So maybe what I need to do is get down to this level and just start, start a mining. But of course... Then I'll have to be very, very careful to keep an eye on the time, right? So maybe this is what I need to do. It's just mine like crazy down here. However, I think the moon was getting a little bit low. So, so as to avoid death. <laughs> I think I'm going to head back up. Uh, so I'll probably keep grinding away at that in between episodes. See how long it takes me to get the, uh, the ore that I need. This is a pain, because I'm jumping high, but I'm not actually jumping two blocks high. 
So it's not actually useful. Oh, and this is where I, this is where I was. Oh, there's a lot of Endermen in this world. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, um... Let's do, let's do a little, little, little say goodbye to my friends. Uh, oh, this is a little intimate. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, leave your comments if you have any tips and stuff like that. Uh, I will definitely read them. Meanwhile, in between episodes, I'll keep grinding away and uh, mining down there and see if I can find some of that, some of that good, good oral. There we go. There we go. Um, so that's the plan. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I know I always say that, but I mean it every time, guys. I mean it every time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye! Thank you for coming with me to the world of mystery. Because mist went to the misty, misty world, like mystery. Mist play on, um, Play on words.